Hey guys, it's Chris, and um, I am going to be doing a review of Flexi VO on the iPad. Um, it is a bit different. I'm not going to be able to show my unique typing method since I'm filming this myself and I need both hands for that, but essentially I can type with Flexi VO on the iPad like I would with a normal keyboard. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, I do have a keyboard case for this iPad, but um, sometimes when I don't feel like carrying it around, this I mean that helps. Sorry about the glare on the screen. Let me try and get rid of it. That's the best I can do. Anyway, so this, if you're not familiar with Flexi, is an alternate way of typing. And so, basically the way it works is you type where you think the letter is on the keyboard, or you type close to it. And based on the patterns of your touches, it will determine what you're trying to type. And the ultimate goal that um, the team tried to accomplish when they coded this app is so you could type on your device without looking at it for the sighted users and for voiceover users because it's just plain annoying to touch type with voiceover the way it is. Um, on the iPad this is particularly helpful because the screen is so large but um, Again, this is Flexi VO specifically for voiceover users, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do my best to give a demonstration with one hand. Let's see. Oops. No more text to delete. Oops. Ah, so. This. Delete this. A. Oops. No more text to delete. This. This. Period. Delete a period. Period. Delete a period. Sorry, this is really difficult typing with one hand. There we go. So, um, there are some gestures that are associated with this that make it a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete um, what I've typed. So to delete by word, you swipe to the right once. And to continue, this, I mean, to continue deleting, um, you can swipe, oh, you swipe to the left once. And to continue deleting, or to delete continuously rather, you swipe to the left once with one finger and hold. So, I'm going to start typing now, and I'm going to tell you the gestures that I use as I use them. This. And to, okay. Yes, I do have spelling on. Um, to finish a word, you swipe right once, so the exact opposite of the delete gesture, and it automatically puts a space in there, so you don't have to worry about spaces. Oops. Okay, so what I'm doing is I typed a little weirdly. And I guess my typing was a bit too weird, but. Alright. So, if you got your typing wrong, like I just did. You can swipe through suggestions that are close to what you typed by swiping down. Turkey. Hurry. Format. Hurry. And to go back through, H. you swipe up. Flexi. Capital F. F. Application. And. A P P L I C A T I O N. T. 
to insert punctuation. Once you're done with a word, you swipe to the right again. Period. And you can swipe down. Comma. Question mark. Exclamation mark. Apostrophe yes. Colon. Semicolon. Semicolon. Colon. Is this colon funny? Apostrophe yes. Exclamation mark. Question mark. Comma. Period. And if you want to insert more punctuation that isn't there, you tap and hold right above the top row of the keyboard. Slash. Colon. Left parenthesis. Dollar. And I'm just moving my finger Number. Dot. horizontally. Number. Dollar. Left parenthesis. Colon. Slash. Say I want to do Slash. Colon. Left parenthesis. Left parenthesis. I stopped on left parentheses. Right parenthesis. Left bracket. Right bracket. Left brace. Right brace. Left stand. So, um, what I just did was when I stopped on that parentheses, it was I was able to swipe down like I'm swiping through corrections, through punctuation that is relevant to the symbol that I chose. Now, I can do things like with my text, like copy it to my clip. I'll show you that in a second. I'm gonna append to that text. Application. Four. And. Poet. Post. Four. iPad. Open. iPad. Dang it. There we go. So, I am actually going to post that to Facebook. So, you can access the menu in two ways. You can either do a two-finger swipe up, which sometimes um, causes me to enter things without meaning to. So, again, this is only on uh, Flexi VO. You can tap and hold single tap and hold with one finger on the top half of the screen. This is a test of the Flexi application for an iTech UI and recording. Expect it on the channel soon. Here's the menu. I'm going to swipe through it. Copy and clear button. That will copy to your clipboard and clear the text out of the Flexi window. Favorites button. Flexi favorites. Let me explain those. So, instead of going through your message window and typing who you want to send your text to every time, you can set up a list of favorites. It's very useful for people who you contact a lot. Email. Um, you can extract the text into an email. Message. Button. You can extract it into a text message, or in this iPad's case, an iMessage. Send it to Twitter. Facebook. Send to Facebook, which I'm going to do shortly. Instructions. Button. You can open the Flexi instructions. It's a really detailed guide. I highly suggest you read it before using this application. Settings. Button. There are your Flexi settings. You can go there and change stuff like your theme. Um, you can set up favorites there. You can activate the uh, spell feature that I demonstrated earlier. Um, so you can go in there and play with it. Um, that is an option where you can express um, if you would like Flexi to be integrated into iOS as a software keyboard. That will um, open up a note in an email template that you can send. Um, there you can send feedback to the developer. Um, you can follow Flexi on Twitter visit Flexi and visit the Flexi website export dictionary. and export your Flexi dictionary. Um, I will explain the dictionary in a moment. 
So let me go. Email button. Favorites. Email. Message. Tweet. Facebook. Tweet. Button. Facebook. Button. Message. Text field. Is editing. This is a test of the Flexi application for an iPad UI. I'm recording. Expect it on the channel soon. Hold on. Let me slow my voice down. I just realized that. Edit. Edit. Sounds. Punctuation. 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 Message. Text typing mode. Edit. Headings. Sounds. Where's my speech rate? Speech rate. There it is. 95, 90, 80, 80, 75%, 70%, 60%, 50%. Audience. Capital Q. Post button. Facebook. Post message. Text field. Is editing. This is a test of the Flexi application for an iPad review. I am recording. Expect it on the channel soon. Post I'm going to go ahead and post it. And off it goes. So, um. Okay. The dictionary. Say you use email, you type email addresses a lot, or abbreviations or names that Flexi does not recognize. This is where typing by character comes in. So you can override the Flexi algorithm by typing normally um, and spelling a word out. And if you swipe up once, it will add it to the dictionary. So let's see. A word that Flexi does not know. I don't know. It's a pretty big dictionary. Um, I'll do my... I'll do a Virginia Commonwealth University's uh, abbreviation. V. V. Oh yes, to change a letter to a capital letter, you swipe up once after you type it. C, capital C, colon, U, capital U, Ku. Remove Ku from dictionary. Added Ku to dictionary. Ah, there you go. So if it's already in the dictionary and you type it and then swipe up, it'll remove it. Also, I'm going to type something random. Without. If you Capital swipe I T H O U T. If you swipe up once, Titular. it will actually y -T -Y -U -U -T. tell you what you actually typed. I'm going to swipe back down versus what the application uh, corrected you to. Without. Capital W. I T H O U T. Deleted without. No more text to delete. And um, that is my review. Oh, my finger was all up in the camera. That is my review of Flexi for the iPad.